Doc Beach here, and I'm going to go into some important information about ballistic calibrations. A lot of new shooters believe all they need is their dope and their rifle profile to get a ballistic calibration going. That's actually not true. The applied ballistics engine looks at all factors when doing a ballistic calibration. Everything from aerodynamic jump to temperature, pressure, humidity to latitude to the direction of fire. Any one of these factors will change how accurate your ballistic calibration is. This holds true for all devices, whether it be the Kestrel Elite, Sig Kilo 2400, Raptor S, RIMS, the AB mobile apps. If it has the AB engine in it, it's looking at real-time environmentals. What this means is that it's best for the shooter to do a ballistic calibration in the field because all of these programs, all of these platforms have the ability to read environmentals in real time. You should be doing it in the field at the time that you're shooting, not later on when you get home and you may be missing some important information to the firing solution. To demonstrate this, I'll be using applied ballistics analytics, but the AB engine is the same across all platforms. We'll go ahead and we'll just use a basic bullet and gun scope profile. We do want to work in the correct units, so let's go ahead and change our units here. And for some base information, we'll hit calculate. And now we have a, a general profile where we have not input target information or environmental information. Now let's say that I go out and I shoot and I know that Generally at 850 yards with this rifle, I need to hold 29.8 MOA. And we're just trying to generate numbers here just to demonstrate what happens if we don't input the correct variables when we do a calibration. So I'll calculate and I'll calculate. Now we have some numbers. We just needed something there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and I'm going to do this correctly. We're going to go ahead and put some real world target information into here. 7 miles per hour, 3 o'clock, 70 degrees, 29.4. Pressure is station pressure, not barometric pressure, and that's important to know. We hit calculate, and I go back to the ballistic calibration. Now watch what happens when I hit these calculate buttons. You can see that the numbers are changing, and that's because it's reading everything. Um, let's change the target direction. You always have to hit calculate in order for this to work. You'll see that once again our values are changing. Uh, let's. We can even change just something as simple as the wind. Maybe you didn't get a very accurate wind reading. And you can see that everything, all of the firing solution components are taken into account when doing a ballistic calibration. What this means is that if you're using the apps or the devices, you should be out in the field doing these calibrations or at a very minimum have all of this information in detail, in full detail, before you start doing that calibration. The devices that are reading real world atmospherics, you shouldn't be doing any ballistic calibrations unless you're at the firing line. Um, or you know how to overwrite those features, which you can do with the devices, but that's more of an advanced feature than it is a beginner. One more thing to consider here that's really important is your shot groups. You should have a minimum of five shots when doing a ballistic calibration and preferably 10 shots. And I'll show you why. Let's say that 29.8 was my shot group and I had a three quarter MOA rifle. I fire one shot, one single shot, and I get the low end of that, which is 29.425 MOA. This gives me um, calculated muzzle velocity of 2594 in this case. I took one shot and I got that muzzle velocity. But let's say that I took one shot and I got the high end of that three quarter MOA at 850 yards, which would be 30.175. I hit calculate and I get 2568. So what we have here is roughly a 26 foot per second spread from the high to the low shot. Now if I were to input this, I would certainly have an error at 1,000 or 1,200 yards. But if I take 5 to 10 shots and I get a good statistical group and then I know the center of that group is 29.8, I alleviate a lot of that error. So it's really important that a ballistic calibration is done in the field 
is done with a good statistical shot group and is done with highly accurate data.